Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're jumping back to some more power and, uh, well, Project E to the max here in Stoneblock 3. Hopefully you guys are ready. Boy, oh boy, is there a lot to do today. Today I'm going to be focusing on power, or at least I hope to focus on power. Currently, I am clearing out some rooms for some big projects that are going to be going on. Uh, of course, we're going to have a uh, mechanism in one. We're going to also have Batania in another. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to make room for all of this uh, in like blood magic in, in one. And this one's probably going to be power. At the moment, I am currently working on this. So if I've done a negative 26, I will do 26 over here. And all I have to do is boop. And it's, this should start hollowing out this side. So my plans for today while this is working um, I want to make a bunch of power or a lot, uh, a lot of power and that way we can get uh, more power automated because power I think is going to be one of the biggest, uh, biggest, you know, time sinks, I think, um, as far as, uh, like all of this, like we have to automate, we, we have to set up multiples of these and to do that, we're going to need a ton of power in itself. And thankfully the mod, you know, uh, with reactors. Uh, can generate tons of power, but today we're actually not going to be using regular reactors like this, or at least not yet. We are going to be using furnators uh, because I feel like these reactors are nerfed because I remember this particular tier uh, should be generating close to 18,000 RF per tick, but it's currently not. It's only produced about two. Now, what doesn't seem like it was modified was things like furnators, where this thing can generate up to 40,000 RF per tick on a nitro furnator. And I believe the furnator just needs, like if I make a basic furnator, I think the furnator in itself, <laughs> uh, I think it only requires coal to get up and running. And since we have EMC and infinite coal, we can just fill this and like just this one alone right now is generating 80, right? So let's see. Power. And if we set up multiples of these, like we're going to be rocking it. Yeah. So this says it generates 20 FE per tick. And this is telling me it's generating 80 FE per tick. I don't know which one is correct. I think max extract is 80. And even though this one's saying this is a starter, this is a basic. Okay. Yeah. No, it generates 80. So that's exactly what it's going to be doing. This can generate 40,000 RF per tick off of coal at its max tier. Things are about to get kind of wacky um, because we have we have quite a few resources here and these uh, the the first basic tiers are EMCable, so we don't have to worry about any of the crazy auto crafting that's going to have to go on because all I have to do is, for example, even this basic tier, I can just toss that in there. And so that completely bypasses the need for us to, to craft them. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's create. Because I already created the crafting recipes. Let's see. Can we get into uh, one of these max nitro furnators that generates 40,000? So it looks like we need blazing capacitors. Do I not have that auto crafted? That might be the one thing I don't have set to auto craft. Unless, oh no, I, I think I might. It's just because I'm probably short on blazing. Let's try and craft it again. See nitro. Okay, so I, yeah, I just I don't think I have the crafting recipe. Put that in there. And now nitro. Night. There it is. Boop. This is at least one nitro. <laughs> one nitro furnator served up and ready to go. I wonder how fast this actually uh, uses coal. So if we place this down, nothing inside of it. Wow, it eats through coal like crazy. And it is actually producing 40,000. Um, and now if we use a EMC link, for example, like a personal EMC link, and I think we might be able to set this on top and we tell it we want coal. I think this will output coal automatically. Let me see, we can use coal blocks as well. That might work a little bit better. Is this going to auto output coal? It says left click to extract stacks. Um, 
Hmm, might have to use some, some sort of piping to do. Actually, you know what? I think we can set this to extract from the top on the IO mode. Maybe it does it not accept blocks? It does accept blocks. Hmm. I mean, yeah, it seems like the extract doesn't work, but we do have item pipes. And of course, we also have laser IO, which is incredibly fast. I think a personal should work like this. If I set the coal up in here, like coal blocks is what I want to use, right? Uh, actually, could we use charcoal? Is there a charcoal block? There is a charcoal block. That would actually be easier on the EMC and might actually burn for longer. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Put that in there. And then all we have to do is set this to extract and then make sure we put a fast upgrade in there. And bam, we have it. And charcoal is going to generate 40. It's going to use less EMC per block. And yeah, that is going to generate a lot of power. Wow. Okay. So we need to probably make more of these. And this is just going to be one of the few ways we're going to generate power. So effectively, I have made this one room specifically for this one block. No, I, I'm, not, I'm just kidding. I will be including more stuff here. Um, but let's see. Now that we have at least 40,000, I can now speed up the process of making things. And I think I want a automated process for power for every single one of the, uh, the main products. So to do that, well, it's just going to take... Actually, it's not going to take too much at all. We're just going to need personal EMC links. And a lot of this stuff is automatable. So now that we have this, um, I need my cable, or actually item pipe, pipe, I think. Goodness, always typing things out. Pipe, wrench, and just charcoal, right? Charcoal blocks. All right, so, and a plug. So for the main power, we definitely need our plug. Um, and this is going to allow me to automate more of the palace stuff. Right, this is gonna be our first stop, and then we're gonna be basically replicating this whole setup over and over again, um, producing 40,000 plus more power over and over and over. And thankfully we have more than enough EMC, and we can also counteract the EMC with power flowers down the road. So for right now, we'll hook that in. We'll say main on the network, power limit. Uh, don't need to worry about it because that's more than what we're producing. and. Let's get this thing fed. Doop and boop. There we go. So now in our main network, we are producing 40,000 plus RF at a moment's notice, which is fantastic, which means it's time to upgrade this room and make it more functional. By the way, I went ahead and crafted myself another transmutation table because, oh my gosh, am I tired. So tired of uh, having to just find my transmutation table to find EMC. So I've got most of this set up and uh, we're gonna be using laser IO for this, but I'm using this one node back here. I could use it in the front, it really doesn't matter. Um, I can move this around here in a little bit, but all of these are connected. Basically the way I have this set up is I'm gonna be producing energized steel. There's two places I'm gonna be producing blazing crystal. Um, one is right here and the other one is right here. Uh, the reason I have them separated is because the final nitro crystal requires it. So you can see right here, it requires a block of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it go into a compacting drawer to turn into a block, and then we're going to use it to pull out of here. Now, thankfully, we can use refined EMC links, which have multiple slots that we can actually have multiple items extracted from, for example, for this. So to do this, it's it shouldn't be too difficult but we are gonna need laser IO. Thankfully, all this stuff is EMCable, so it makes it so much easier. Um, we just need item cards, basically. Uh, let me grab item cards. There we go. We can get a few of these out of here for right now. All right, and so let's go ahead and set up the first one, which we have done before. So this shouldn't be anything new. I'm actually gonna break the floor down so it allows me to get down here. So this right here is gonna be linked in. And then we just need to set this to extract, or sorry, this needs to be set to insert. 
So insert, but it is going to need a count filter card. Um, and so on that count, we are going to need iron and gold. So iron and gold. Very straightforward. And we need to make sure we set that in this card to only do one iron and one gold at one time. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward right there. Now we need to up here, tell it, hey, I want iron and gold to be accepted up in the top. And then we can just provide it with a card on the top. And what should happen is when this is set to extract, it should only put those two items in, do its thing, and then start to fill this hopper down here, completely filled. Now, all of this is going to be basically the same thing that I just did for all of these, um, except for these three here are just singular items. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm automating this. So effectively, I have everything automated at this point. Um, so as you can see right here, we have this running through. Now, um, you can actually drag the items out, which is kind of nice. Uh, but let me go ahead and explain this. This is quite simple. I already explained this one. These all work the same way. This one's a little bit different. I moved my power so that way it would reach. And this is uh, run the exact same way. As you can see, it's, it's working here. It'll receive the power, drop into the hopper. That goes back here. Now this is where it's a little bit more confusing. So underneath here, inside this, I have the set items exact. And as you can see, the block of blazing is in there. And then back here, all I had to do was set an extract card on the south back, connected to that. And then up top, we have an extract card right here as well, pulling from this, which has these two items in it. And it's automated, like it's producing. The only thing I have to do now is tell this, hey, you can use a bit more power because <laughs> we have, what, 40,000? So let me give this, I don't know, 30,000 RF worth of power to transfer around. And unfortunately, I don't know if this is the best way to do this. I might need a node per, like literally a node per energizing rod to make this uh, a little, they'll work a little bit better. Now with all that set up, the only thing left to do is to get it into my storage network. And that's very, very simple. Ender chest for the win. There we go. We just need a single, actually I'm gonna use three ender chests for this. Sounds ridiculous, but honestly, it's the way to go. Cause I'm gonna use ender chest here, here, and here. All connected to these hoppers. And there we go. <laughs> Trap doors, and we'll never know they even existed. Just cover them up like that. Boop, and we're ready to go. Perfect. So there we go. Everything moved around. I have the power situated. This is now using 20,000 RF per tick because these only support 10,000 a piece at their current tier. I have these only going at a thousand a piece because they don't really need to go any faster than that, I don't think. Otherwise, we're going to be producing just way more materials than we really need. But yeah, they're working way better on their own. As you can see right now, just over time, these are going to generate and it's perfectly fine. So this is what is being generated a bunch of nitro crystals. We're going to need a bunch of those anyways for automation later on. And uh, well, I think it's time to potentially upgrade our Furnator setup and uh, maybe try making a few more of them. <laughs> oh boy, we're about to have a lot of power. So all in all, I, I think what I want to do is I want to set up a generator sized Furnator setup. Uh, that would be basically four blocks tall and uh, a three by three in size. But this one's going to be more like a, yeah, it's going to be a three by three still in size. So I need nitro and I think I counted 17 is how many I'm going to need to complete this. So I'll let the crafts do its thing. And basically this is going to be set up in this sort of pattern here. And the way I'm going to pipe it with items, that's what I've got to sort of figure out. Uh, but still, it is going to be a setup very similar to this. Now, as I'm placing this down, I'm trying to figure out how am I going to pipe all the items to this thing? That's a challenge in itself, uh, but a challenge worth doing um, because I believe I could potentially send coal to all of these blocks using a very special block that's in here. And that block is the entangled block. Okay, so the entangled block is quite simple to make, as you can see, um, and uh, has EMC, so that's great. We can make a bunch of them. 
But the way this works is we are going to need the entangler. And I think the, I mean, like, the best way to describe this is we basically select the block, right? So this block selected. And then when we put the block inside the entangler, I can now feed this block, which is here, I can feed it with items by just piping into this block instead. So this is probably how we're going to end, end up doing this. So for every block that we have, which is 18 total of these, we are going to need an entangler for each block. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Now to make sure we don't cut off power to anything, I'm gonna make sure the first block selected is the middle one right here and place that in. And what I need to do is grab another EMC link, which I may or may not have in here, but all I need is the piping. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of pipes and we're gonna get this thing going. So it's piped in and ready to go, which means if it's connected to this block, I should be able to remove this one and remove the pipes that are connected there. And this still should be staying full, which it is, which is perfect because all of these also need to be connected. Now, what I'm gonna do, go ahead and get them all placed in first. Um, and then I'll be able to select each and every one of these because uh, otherwise it's gonna be hard to keep up with. Yeah, this is the pattern that I'm going with. I don't know, what do you, you guys can let me know what you think. I mean, I could just make an entire block full of these and uh, utilize all of their spaces here, but I'm just doing it for the looks, honestly. So right here, this is the last bit. Last few, boop and boop. And then I'll go ahead and break all of the cobblestone. And then now I have access to this whole thing. So first things first, let's go ahead and link this one to this one, right? And I'll go around this one here, this one here, and so on and so forth, you get it. All of them selected, I'm gonna go ahead and just run the pipes to them, just like so. There we go, perfect. And now to fill this in, what I'm actually going to do, uh, are these not connected here? They are connected, they're just full. Um, so, to, to what I'm gonna end up doing is getting plugs, and let's make just 10 of them for right now. And I'm going to put a plug basically on every face that I see that's empty, and that'll be perfect. Now, when setting up your plugs, don't forget, after you set your main one up, to use your configurator, you, you uh, basically shift and right click, and then every one you place, you can just right click and paste your settings. It is pretty simple to do, get that all done. So after all of this is done, this thing should be producing around 720,000 RF per tick based on 18 times 40. And it uses very little EMC, honestly. And just considering like it's, yeah, this is a really nice reactor. Now that we have sufficient power, I, I honestly should go ahead and start working on power flowers. We could probably utilize that same room um, to set up some power flowers to compensate for the uh, you know few thousand RF that we're potentially losing, or sorry, not RF, few thousand EMC that we're losing constantly uh, now that we have things like this running and so on and so forth. Um, so to do that, let's take a look at the extra mod the what is it called Ex er, extended exchange <laughs> um so power flowers we already have one power flower which is kind of nice but that one power flower is kind of meh it's only an mk2 which is i think the just the second tier right the mk2 um thankfully we can make a bunch of them and kind of compensate but what i want to do is i want to slowly start working my way up to the higher tiers and to do that we have to start somewhere we have to start with this, the basic collectors. Um, so you see right here, and then we have these anti-matter blocks and stuff. So this is gonna require a few things to set up. Hopefully it's not gonna be too bad. If we jump right into this, um, let's see, I need that. And is the crafting recipe, it's literally just requiring some glowstone. Okay. So yes, we are going to need a few things. I thought I had glowstone set. Guess not. All right, so glowstone, this. Boop, we have our first basic energy collector. Definitely want to make sure to add that to our EMC list. And 
Then we also need the dark version as well, which is going to require this. Thankfully, we have all of that set up from last episode. And there's the dark relay. Okay. So to make this, we need an EMC link. Um, compressed versions of this. So all of this in a compressed form. Um, and what else do we need? Because, I mean, I think that's that's it, right? EMC, basic EMC link. And so long as we get our first flower, we can start tiering these things up. Um, so first tier. Let's take a look at that. First tier. We need to compress these. That's compressed. Compressed that one as well. And... Oh yeah, the antimatter. Relays. So yeah, I guess just pull out a whole stack of them because we're going to need a bunch of them. Okay, so first power flower made. Awesome. Now, when we start progressing up, uh, this is where like this one, for example, the MK2 is going to require dark and then we need the next one and it requires that and so on and so forth. So I'm going to take a little bit of time here and I'm going to slowly work my way all the way up to these. And we also also we also have to upgrade these as well. So there is a literal tier upgrade for everything. It is a whole bunch of sequential crafting. So I tried my best to make this as easy as possible on me by putting it inside of one of these, which of course I'm going to end up removing later on. But this was just to use my crafter. I noticed that it does stop. It doesn't actually want to work past the lime for everything, like including making these like it doesn't like past lime for whatever reason. It might be the number uh, as it starts to exceed a particular point. I have no idea, uh, but we are at the point now where I can start crafting, for example, tier three power flower right out of here. So there's a tier three mech three power flower. And then I can go up to the four. Um, I guess this would be if you were crafting it directly. Um, which I did go ahead and make all of them. So we could, I guess, craft it directly. I don't have to technically make all of them. But I'm going to anyways, because that's just me. There's the MK5. This is already producing 16,000 a second. And if we wrap this around another machine, if we wrap this around a uh, watch of flowing time, I mean, our trillion EMC is going to just skyrocket. This current moment, I can make orange. That is the maximum. And this is producing 1.2 billion EMC. Going up to the white one produces four billion. I currently cannot make the white. I do not have enough EMC, but we'll probably have enough EMC shortly as just two of these together produce two billion EMC a piece. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of EMC. And uh, it's going to be even more than 2 billion because if I place them over here on this, next to this, watch a flowing time. Notice we're going to be producing that one alone was producing four. So this is the equivalent to the white while it's next to that. And now we're producing 46 billion EMC just with two of those alone per second. Yeah, I don't think EMC is going to be a uh, much of a problem for us anymore. So funny thing. Uh, just putting that on, I'm already setting at 17 trillion EMC, um, <laughs> kind of crazy, uh, which means I can already technically make the white power flower. Um, so here's the orange power flower. All I need to make the white is seven of these. So seven of those and one of those, and we craft that together like this. And there we go. We have the top tier power flower. That is kind of crazy. Um, now, is there anything else? Does this, uh, I know this mod used to have a thing where it could duplicate items, but I really don't, I don't think that is currently the thing. What is this actually the recipe? Oh, that's for the knowledge sharing. I was about to say, is this the, I thought this was a recipe for like, there's a book in here that you can actually create. That'll give you unlock every recipe, but I think at this point, like, I think we're basically done. I don't think fading star. I don't think we can use this, uh, transfers EMC only once a second. That's fine. But fading star, I mean, this, this is, is this used for anything? There's a fading star energy collector. 
And this would be the last tier to go. Uh, higher than the white, I guess. Yeah, and uh, it uses four trillion. I mean, honestly, we we're really close to <laughs> to making it. I I mean, we might even be able to make it today. Yep, we're making it. All right. Um. Yeah, that's the that's the last one. I think fading, fading. Yeah, that's uh. There we go. Last one made. It literally took me a second, and this produces so much EMC that I don't even know like how long I want to keep this thing running for and then to also have it powered over here at like I, I don't even think that's necessary but you know it's it's running it's doing its thing that's a lot of EMC per second guys with this we are now EMC masters I would definitely call ourselves masters of emc and power like we have probably no need for any more power uh we're gonna be generating even more power later on when we get into mechanism so <laughs> guys i hope you have enjoyed today's episode if you did be sure to click that subscribe button give this video a huge thumbs up and of course guys i hope to see you in the next episode and as always thanks for watching